I'd like to welcome you to another math lesson. This is Mr. Pi. We're going to be talking about inverse relations and functions today. This is the second part of a two-part series on inverse relations and functions. If you find yourself watching the example in this video and find yourself lost, you might want to check out video number one or part one. In example 3t, we have to graph the function y is equal to the opposite of x squared minus 2 and its inverse. It's a pretty easy process if you know how to graph a parabola. Uh, this is a parabola because it's in the form y is equal to ax squared plus c. What makes it a parabola is the fact that it's a quadratic. It has an exponent of 2. The vertex can be taken by the ordered pair 0, comma c. In this case, the vertex is going to be 0, comma negative 2. And that's one point we can graph on our coordinate plane, 0, negative 2. The other tidbit about this form of a parabola is this coefficient a. If it's negative, it's going to be a parabola that faces downward. It's going to open up downward. If you want to make an xy table, you can. You do something like that. And you pick a couple pairs. Now, since we're squaring it, we're going to take both the positive and the negative one. And when we put that one in, or negative one, and we square it, that'll give a positive one. Then we take the opposite of that, which is negative one minus two, which will give three. So positive or negative one, and then negative three. These will be mirror images. And if you want to make another one, you could do plus or minus 2. Substituting 2 in, 2 squared is 4. The opposite of 4 is negative 4, so negative 4 minus 2 is negative 6. Forgot to put the negative there. Should have had a negative 3 there. Negative 6, so to the left 2 and down 6, or you could have went to the right 2 and down 6, because they are mirror images. Now that we have the graph of the parabola, as we saw in example 2 and example 1, uh, finding the inverse is about switching the domain and the range values. It also could be based on the fact that a parabola or a function is inverse is the mirror along the y is equal to x line. So what that means, we're going to move this point from here to here, up two into the left two. And then that'll be our vertex. And these will be the other points. And there we have the graph of the inverse. Now we didn't actually find the inverse function if you needed to find the inverse function, you could find the inverse function very easily by taking the original equation. Now, this isn't what we have to do, but finding the inverse function, just so you can see it here on the graph, and then you can see the equation, give you a better idea of what's going on here. So finding the inverse function, y is equal to, of the original, original function, we need to switch the x and the y's, and then solve for y. Now when you read this right here, x is equal to, I'm going to say this is the opposite of y squared minus 2, because this is really going to be seen as negative 1 times y squared. So whatever we get for y squared, we're going to take the opposite of it. So we've got to remember that when we're doing solving for y here. Solving for y, we add 2 to both sides. And I'm going to switch the y over to here. The opposite of y squared is equal to x plus 2. Now we're going to want to multiply or divide by negative 1. I just like to multiply the whole equation by negative 1. It's quicker. It's easier. Giving y squared is equal to the opposite of x minus 2. And we take the square root of both sides. giving y is equal to, now, 
in my class, we've been worried about the principal square root. But in this case, we're going to want to concern ourselves with both the positive and the negative, because if we don't, we only get half of the graph. So this equation right here is the inverse to the original equation. And here's the graph of the inverse. This is the graph of the original equation, symmetric about the line y is equal to x. So here we've seen in this example, the original function, its graph, the graph of the inverse next, and then we found the equation of the inverse. So this is what a parabola on its side looks like. And this is what the equation looks like. It's going to be y is equal to plus or minus radical and x underneath the radical. This has been graphing the inverse of a parabola. Mr. Pot.